And remember, I'm the person who went all the way to the end in June in 2008. So why would I expect anybody running against me to give up or quit before the process is done? So Hillary Clinton was on Howard Stern's show where she claimed that Bernie Sanders hurt her chances at the general election. Now, Hillary Clinton won't go away, <laughs> but even apart from that, she's living in an alternate reality. As I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you how factually wrong she is, even by her own measure. First, let me show you what she said on Howard Stern's show. Like, hey, let's do everything we can to elect Donald Trump. I mean, that's, those, those are quotes those are taken. Words they those said. are words yeah. that taken and also said Bernie Sanders. But, you know, that's another for another day. Do we day. hate Bernie Sanders? What? Do we hate Bernie Sanders? No, I don't hate anybody. Bernie could have endorsed you quicker. Uh, he could have. He him. hurt me. There's no doubt about it. He hurt me. But going back to the indictments, because that's right. what's really important. Have you ever spoken to Bernie about that? No. No. You don't I mean, talk to him? I don't talk to him. Yeah, I mean, we did when he finally endorsed me and all that. But and you're he, upset with him? No, disappointed. Disappointed. Okay. okay. So, and, and I hope he doesn't do it again to whoever gets the nomination. Right. Once is enough. We, got, we have to, yeah, things are very we have to right join now. forces yes. and, you know, people could speculate and, and have some good reason to speculate about how bad it might be with uh, Trump in the White House. Now we know there's no guesswork. OK. <laughs> all right. Um, first of all, Howard Stern egged it on. I mean, that's what he does. He, he wanted to get a little more out of Hillary Clinton, tried to push her a little bit. Uh, but the facts are not on his side and what he was saying and not on Hillary's side either. Before we even get to that, I just want to remind people what Hillary Clinton did in 2008 when she was still in the race against Barack Obama, when she had zero shot at the nomination, Bernie stayed in until he had no shot. Hillary Clinton stayed in well past her ability to win the nomination in 2008. And, uh, here's what she said about why she stayed in the race. Hillary Clinton referenced RFK assassination as a reason to continue the 2008 campaign. Yes, this is not a joke. This is true. Hillary Clinton cited Robert F. Kennedy, uh, his June 1968 assassination as a reason to remain in the presidential race against Barack Obama in 2008. True. Let's even go down and read a little bit more here. Here we go. So here she cited the uh, cited the assassination. Um, I read this part. Quote, we all remember, this is Hillary's quote, we all remember Bobby Kennedy was assassinated in June in California. Clinton told the editorial board of a South Dakota newspaper. Uh, I don't understand it, Clinton added, alluding to the calls for her to quit. So here she's saying, well, Robert F. Kennedy, he was assassinated. So it's important that I stay in the race against Barack Obama because you never know. And she's complaining that Bernie stayed in the race too long, that Bernie hurt her somehow. Did Bernie really hurt her? Let's hear what uh, Rachel Maddow said in 2016, right after Bernie Sanders endorsed Hillary Clinton. There was this lingering question at the end of the Democratic primary as to whether or not Bernie Sanders really meant it when he endorsed Hillary Clinton, whether he really meant it when he said he would work his heart out all over the country to get her elected. Well, he's been working his heart out. It's true. He started campaigning for Clinton really in earnest, basically as a full-time gig a couple of weeks ago. He appears really to be flooring it for Hillary Clinton. Over the first five days Bernie Sanders spent on the campaign trail for Hillary Clinton, over five days, he did 14 events for her. Minnesota, Iowa, Wisconsin, Michigan, Maine, New Hampshire, Pennsylvania, 14 events in five days. Yesterday and today and tonight, he's stumping for Hillary Clinton in Colorado. On Wednesday, he's going to Nevada for her. Tomorrow, though, he is spending all day and all night in Red State, Arizona. Bernie Sanders doing a rally for Clinton tomorrow in Flagstaff at 2.30. Then he's doing another rally for Clinton in Tucson at 7. There was this lingering question. At there you go. Rachel Maddow, breaking down how Bernie Sanders did 14 events 
in five days. He went on, I believe, to do 54 events, is the count I'm seeing, 54 events. From what I understand, Bernie Sanders did more events for Hillary Clinton than anybody else except for her family. So Bill Clinton, Chelsea, because they were with her on the campaign trail, obviously, they did more events than Bernie Sanders. Otherwise, Bernie Sanders did more events than anybody else. Yet, oh, he really hurt me during the campaign. Oh, no, no question about it. No doubt. How about what Hillary said herself? Vote for them and vote for what they represent. You know, I really want to thank my friend Bernie Sanders for everything that he has done. I, I got to serve with Bernie. We were colleagues in the Senate. I saw firsthand his commitment to the people of Vermont and to the values that have guided his life. And when we faced each other in the primary, here's what I was so proud about. We ran a campaign on the issues that matter to the American people. And I, I think because of that campaign, we were able to raise a lot of the issues that you heard Bernie talking about to the level that they are part of this presidential campaign and they will be part of our agenda after January 20th, Bernie. And I've got to say too, this election has been a lot more fun now that we're on the same side. And I want to thank Bernie for everything he's done. He's crisscrossing our country energizing people, getting folks off the sidelines and engaged in politics. And there's no question that his efforts are paying off. And what he said at the beginning of his remarks is absolutely true. My name may be on the ballot, but it is not about me. It's not about my opponent. It's not about Bernie. It's not about David or Deborah. It is about you and your lives and what we're going to do together. Vote for them. She is so full of crap. So here she is. November 3rd, 2016. Thanking Bernie Sanders for everything he did to go around the country on the campaign trail for her. Get people out and engaged to support her. Yet, on Howard Stern, oh, no question Bernie Sanders hurt me. This is why you can't give these people even an inch. Because they're not going to give you credit regardless. So, F her. F, F all of these people who don't give a shit about anybody except for themselves. These ego-driven campaigns. The fact that you think Hillary Clinton really thought this campaign wasn't about her. As she says at the end there, oh, not about me or, or Bernie or it's about the people. Do you really think that somebody with, uh, with the, uh, the slogan, I'm with her. Somebody that ran on the slogan, I'm with her. Do you really think Hillary Clinton didn't think this race was about her? Of course. Of course she thought it was about her. It was all about her. That's all she cares about. That's all she continues to care about. So you have this person here just completely lying today about what Bernie Sanders did for her. So effing ungrateful for everything he did, going around the country, campaigned more for her than anybody else except for her own husband, did more than anybody else did except for her family. And today she's cl uh, complaining, oh, he definitely hurt me. Just disgusting. These people are disgusting. 